Yes, yes, we could potentially buy a bell, but that would defeat the whole purpose of this video, okay? And why and make things easy <laughs> when you when can you make it complicated? Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where we take old clothes and make it fashion. So, I have been obsessed with the only like are you kidding me i'm glad i'm already broke because otherwise i'd be broke by now again i know it doesn't make sense but keeps you very happy that mindset but the only is like the king queen of cutouts after this other really really popular designer of course what's his name again okay i'm talking about myself because the people that have been here before know that i love myself a good cutout too these are not my most popular videos to say the least that's why we're gonna do something that everyone loves and that's of course jeans and although one might think that every idea with denim has been repeated so many times that the life is sucked out of this material by now, or is that just me? But I'd argue that this one is looking fresh and fly, and no, I'm not talking about those two flies, I'm talking about these fringed frayed edges that are just beautifully contouring the legs in these contrasting colors. My initial plan was to size the jeans down, but then sew it back together inside out and leave extra seam allowance on so that I could fray that out and create this kind of nice edges. However, when I was looking in the mirror, I realized I didn't want to take too much width of the legs to keep this luxurious relaxed feel to the jeans that was a little bit of a problem because then i would not have much seam allowance there to fray out at all if you have enough fabric to work with you can totally go ahead and do it that way quite a clever idea although i'm saying it myself but i'm going to show you a plan b i decided i just want to get some centimeters of the waist okay when you come at the waist man what you gonna do what you gonna do what you gonna do <sighs> Um, I think we're just gonna mm, cut it through. This jeans has kind of like front pockets in the back side as well. In the beginning I still thought it was kind of funny. Okay, okay, look at me. Who does not want two extra pockets on a jeans that already has seven pockets? With just a little bit of foreshadowing here, but my whole tip of the day, don't take a jeans with any extra layers of fabric, any fun quotation marks, design features. So punky, because this is not the kind of fun we need in our lives, okay? Believe me. Draw on a smooth line to the hem where it ends at zero. Remember, I want to keep the width. Then I'm going to pin the back and the front back together so I can more easily cut the front and the back in one go. Yes, living on the edge, sue me later. And I have these extra pants, luckily. I went to the textile way, it's got a lot of broken pants. Looks like it has been worn since the 80s, like non-stop. Oh, and they put like patches in the cross. This pants has literally been repaired for over 50 times. Must have been someone's favorite pants since the 80s. I hate to have to do this, but I'm gonna rip it to shreds now. Life. Oh, life. I have four long strips. I'm gonna take my pin and pull the threads out. Montage. Put one by one by one by one by one by one. one. Get the point? It's a great one for everyone that has like too much time at hand and is bored to death. And if you're watching this video, there might be a chance that that is you, my friend. However, <laughs> we all have too much time at hand. Much, much, much later. Oh, the fraying is almost done. <laughs> The button jumps off my pants. Um, that's the result. Um, the fraying looks kind of nice. So it took a couple of hours, but when I saw these threads on the floor, I got a crazy idea to make a new fabric and create a crazy top that I can wear with this jeans. If you're interested to see that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. While you're at it, like the video if you like it thus far. Thank you. I don't know what's going on with me. I forgot how to thread the machine. Okay, just a little disclaimer that you can still go back now. If you want to unsubscribe, I totally understand. I will do the same. Hit the button again and we'll still be friends. No hard feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a zigzag stitch right along the frayed edge so that my strips will be a little more sturdy. And then I'm gonna trim them so that there's like one centimeter of seam allowance left. Little cherry pear action in between. <laughs> To prevent the jeans from fraying in the wrong parts and falling apart after washing, you can either serge or zigzag all the edges separately. If you're a little like cloudy in your head and not so sure which one to choose, you can just do both, like I ended up doing. Then I'm gonna pin my frayed edge on the seam allowance on one side to make it easier to sew it later without it moving because this comes quite close. I'm first gonna attach it to this one side with a big basting stitch. 
So this trip was just a little bit on the short side, but against all expectations, yours truly was prepared this time. And I made a little extra strip that we can pop in in the bottom and nobody has to know. Time to assemble the jeans. Let's see if we can create some... Man. But first, ladies and gentlemen, I want silence! This is the moment of truth. I will be sewing roughly through 10 layers of fabric with just a domestic sewing machine! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! I have a pretty strong sewing machine, but it doesn't wanna go over all these freaking layers. Okay, my machine was actually hating on me, but I went in from the other side, tried again, and I sort of closed the seam, but honestly, it didn't feel good. And I think I have to take my machine to relationship therapy now, so wouldn't recommend. Like this. Okay, let's press the seams open, make it all look a little more nicely. I'm a little worried, as always. And they are... So now we're gonna do the same in the front by adding an extra seam right down the middle. So you do want to have some extra width in the pants still to play with. We have to get rid of the belt loops. Aww. So, aww. The belts are cancelled anyway, remember? I don't know what about you guys, but the seam ripper is just not really doing it for me anymore. <laughs> In the bottom, I'm trying to go exactly in the middle. So I'm gonna measure that out, and then here in the top, it's a little bit more on the inside. So I want to make the line look straight, but it's not gonna be exactly straight. And I have here like a little stud, uh, so you want to make sure that you're not gonna cut through it or sew over it, and leave a little bit of seam allowance next to it. So that's then you won't run into problems. So you can basically just repeat all the steps from the side seams here as well. I thought to be clever and save myself some time and use this glue to attach the strip first. Turned out it was not fabric glue. <laughs> you serious? Little life hack in between because I cannot really zigzag over this because I have like a stud in the way and so many layers of pocketing and seams and top stitches. So you can use like fabric glue to prevent the edges from fraying. However, make sure to take actual fabric glue as opposed to yours truly. And I'm gonna iron when in doubt. I just always iron because I feel like you can better iron too much than too little. Then I try to gather the seam allowances to get over longer to go over it again. Obviously, I can't do the whole seams because at some point we get this big mess of 10,000 this again. I broke two needles on the lock machine. I broke two needles on the lock machine. To be honest, the frustration was real. Bear with me guys, we're almost there. And more important is to make a top stitch. I'm gonna stitch down the seam allowance to the opposite direction of where I want the fraying to go. That will make sure that the fraying will be looking like it's directed outward. So just when you think you're almost finished, you still gotta hem the pants. You can perfectly find a raw edge as well, but um, I'm gonna hem it because I'm motivated, okay? I'm one of those people now. <laughs> anyway, if you want to motivate me a little bit or just like to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe. Or if you want to support the channel, don't forget to leave a comment and all that kind of stuff. Um, what else? Like the video. <laughs> oh my god. If your mom does also not allow you to have a pet, you can just go ahead and calm the pants extensively. Oh, so calming. So I'm pairing it with the pom pom bag, it's really cute. Oh, and don't forget to check out my other videos for more denim and DIY fashion inspiration.